Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.16 Of the temporary, such as winter or summer, there is no permanent existence. And of the eternal, such as the soul, there is no destruction. Those who know the truth have reached this conclusion by deliberating on what is temporary and what is eternal. Sarardavarshini These words are spoken for persons who cannot yet discriminate. According to the statement, Asanguhi Ayam Purushaha, the soul or chief Atma, does not have a relationship with either the subtle or the gross body, nor with the characteristics of the body, such as lamentation and delusion. This is because these relationships are imagined only, due to ignorance. For this reason, the present verse, beginning with the word nasataha, is spoken. The word asataha means that due to the non-spiritual nature of lamentation and delusion, which appears to be in both the jiva, who is spiritual by nature, and his shelter, the gross body, they have no real existence. Similarly, the word sataha means that the jeev atma, whose nature is eternal, sat, is never destroyed. In this way, the fundamental principle of sat, eternity, and asat, temporariness, is understood. Thus, you and Bhishma are eternal. Bodily identification, lamentation and delusion do not exist in regards to the imperishable soul. So how can Bhishma and the others be annihilated? Knowing that, why should you grieve for them?